Hello YouTube. Today I have a really interesting video. Uh, I thought I'd share it because this is honestly one of the most unique things you'll ever get to see. This is a original Pioneer tape player from the early 70s as up to late 76 I believe. Model number on this one's KP500. Uh, this is a cassette player what would come, uh, you could add to cars back in the 70s, which at that time, if anyone's a car audio fanatic or enthusiast knows that car series back then were very rare to have, uh, especially to be having like a Pioneer brand in your car. The thing at the top here, many of you are probably wondering what this is. This piece was designed to mount inside the car. Let me zoom out real quick. Oops. So this piece up here, the top half would bolt to your to your underneath your dashboard, something along those lines. That way you could remove the stereo when you left the car. You push these two tabs in, and this would be fixed to the car, and the whole stereo would slide out. And you take the stereo out with you, whether you're going to the movies or whatever it was. This was, you know, you laugh now, but that's how it was done back in the day. Even up into the early 90s, there was stereo with similar designs where you'd obviously with a modern stereo look, but you'd pull them out as you left the car. So I got this very luckily. I, someone brought it into the store and, you know, they didn't know what it was worth. And I said, you know, it'd be a great piece to have to show in the store. You know, one of the first Pioneer stereos. And it works. And that's what I'm going to show you today is I couldn't even believe it, it still works. So give, give, me, give me a few minutes here and we're going to wire it up. I'm going to use just a basic antenna here just to get some kind of reception. Plug that in. Hook up the speaker. Now, on these older stereos, they use what's called a float system. So on modern stereos, each speaker has a negative and a positive lead going to it, coming out of the stereo. A float system, all the speakers shared a common ground with the stereo. And all it had was the positive outputs to each speaker you're putting in. So these two open leads here are for your front left speaker and your front right speaker. There's a, just a basic speaker here. Hook up some leads to it. So then the ground of the speaker is going to go to the ground of the stereo. It's gonna, they're going to sh share the same ground. And then your output here is going to be to one of the speakers. So this one's going to go to the positive lead on the speaker. And we've got sound. Here's your tuner knob. If you watch the dial here, you'll see it. So right now it's on, I guess, 107.9. Here you've got your local and DX for your AM, FM, mostly for FM. Radio on and off. So radio off, radio on, lights up. With a really cool dial. Volume knob here. Are you afraid you'll lose your home? Associates Let's go to a station. There you go. And it has a cassette player that works. And you got your fade, your balance, left to right, uh, your bass, and your uh, treble. Loudness, off, and on. So with my amazement, I was very surprised to see a stereo of this old still 100% functional. So someone took care of it, and it will sit in the showroom here just to show off. Just you know, one of the first Pioneer car stereos ever made that were available to consumers in the 70s.
Thanks for watching. <laughs>